Good evening, fellow Plexers. Tonight's video is for Sven, who's having some issues with his dad and his dad being able to access media on a Plex server after a stroke. So first off, let's make sure your father is added as a regular user and not as a home user. Now, I don't want to show my regular users, but your dad should be listed under Manage Library Access and not under Plex Home. If your dad has his own email address, he might be under both, but you really only want to have him under his own um, user. Even if it's, an, if it's an email address, you control and create the, the, the free Plex account for him. So this is the HTPC client app on my Linux computer. And I'm going to use this to just demonstrate how all client apps work. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sign out. And then I'll sign back in. And my phone's not near me. Let's have a brief pause. And we're back, signing in now. So, I have access to my main server and a couple test servers I have and some servers of friends. I'm going to pick this test server. And at this point, I can choose what's pinned and what's not pinned. So, if you don't want your father to see Plex's free content, to make it easier for him just to see your content, you may want to uncheck that, and you may want to uncheck Discover, definitely uncheck Music, maybe even Live TV, and just leave the libraries that you want, and possibly uncheck Watch List too. To simplify it, I'm just going to leave my movie and regular TV show library selected. So it's a pretty simplified menu now. Search, home, movies, TV shows, and more. You should never have to have your father go to more once the, a library is pinned. And without signing out and signing back in, you should just be able to go down, select a library. You only have one, I would assume. And then just slide over to the three dots to pin a library. When you go back, you'll see it. So your dad having to go to more is a simple solution um, to solve. And of course, you can rearrange things too. If I wanted this to come after the documentaries, I could just move it there. And you can also set this up to remember where you were last. So if you were in the movie folder or the movie library, and it's left on the library tab, you could set this up to always come back to that because you left it there last time. And you may want it to come back to recommended. So those are always in the settings too. So if we jump into the settings, one of the first things you want to do is check automatically sign in. And you can make sure this is unchecked. Remember selected tab unless you want it to always come back to the tab your dad was on. But I think it's better to always come back to the fresh interface for a situation like you're dealing with. So that's, that's the short answer. And now he's always going to see on this ribbon for the movie library, anything you've recently added, and then the rest are suggestions by Plex. And if you go to the TV show library, you'll see recently re released episodes and then recently added in TV shows. And this is my public domain server. Um, I can play a video on this server and not get a copyright strike. And this was just a test um, folder I added with some dummy video files. It's not really the, the real show. 
just to see how it would add to Plex. So if you want to do some unique things, let's bring the server back in, but let me prep it first. All right, so I'm on this test server. And say you wanted to make a new ribbon in the client app for your dad of, you could even say, look here, dad. You could create a collection called look here, dad, and that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go into the movie library, and I'm just going to select um, three movies. And I'm going to click the edit. So I'm editing all, editing, editing all three, and I'll click tag, tags. So I type look here, dad. I have to touch it here for the add, and then I have to save changes. And if I... Let's see, go. Let me back up and come back in. Well, I should have a I should have a library or a collection created. Let me kill the um, Plex Player app for Linux, and let me instead use the web app. So I can refresh. So once I refresh the window, you'll see that collection. And if we go into it, you'll see the three movies I added there. Well, the nice trick about this is I can hit the three dots for the collection and I can choose visible on library, visible on home, visible on friends home. And now if I go back to my settings and I go back to the manage library area and I hover over my movie library in this spot, and click Manage Recommendations, I can now drag this Look Here collection up to the very top. Now it's above recently added movies and recently released. And I'm also going to check this so that it's on the home and on the friend's home. So your dad will now see Look Here Dad, recently released movies, and recently added movies. And you can uncheck anything else you want, but anything that comes below those three should be fine. And there's no save option here. So what I don't know is whether I have to restart this client device. Which it looks like I have to. So now, once it's restarted, you'll see the top ribbon is Look Here Dad, and you can change these movies up. When he watches a movie, you can remove it to add something else. Um, and depending on your dad's cognitive ability, you might have extra ribbons. Say, though this is a John Wayne movie, say he loves John Wayne movies, you could put a ribbon called John Wayne movies if you want. Um, and then you can still see the recently added... Um, well, we have a mistake. We did not get the recently released, but possibly this tiny server doesn't have enough content to show that. And of course, you can do the same thing with a TV show library. You can push a, a collection um, to that library as a ribbon and rearrange it wherever you want it to be. And, and most likely, That'll be enough. And you see from the home screen, too, 
because movies the to- is the top library, and then documentaries and TV shows, all the main ribbons from those libraries will be in that order from home. So the movie library is on top, and we pushed the Look Here Dad collection to the top, so that'll appear first under home. And then the recently added movies in the movie library, recently added movies in the documentary library, and recently added TV shows in the TV show library. So you really can't miss. Um, You just gotta pin the library and get rid of everything else that might be confusing. And then you can create custom collections for your father and push them to the home. And by doing so, you also push them to each library under the recommended tab. And that's why I would suggest not having Plex remember the last tab used because you want it to always reset to the recommended the next time Plex is started. If you have Plex remember where was where he was left off, he'll be stuck in the library tab or the collection tab and a unified interface form has got to be better if he's got some cognitive decline. So Sven, I hope this is helpful to you and feel free to reach out if I can help you further.